Huxley, who is keeping local kids occupied and out of trouble. Next, page number 34. 34,000 pounds from the New Opportunity Fund has funded a green... Daft to know. But we still do it. Next down is number 25. Every week, like clockwork. Never mind, love. I'll get it. Maybe because that was all the thrill I could expect on a Saturday night these days. Sorry. Five minutes. Right, babe. I know I'd go from rags to riches If you would only say you care And though my pocket may be empty Yeah, go on. Have a good look. No, my hair's not been done and I've been wearing the same shoes for two years. But at least they're Jimmy Choo's. And have you ever had a pair? I'll get these. The usual goals. Oh, yeah, Hi. thanks. You're right. Yeah. yeah. This is Charlie. Don't know how they got through it all without him. Faithful, reliable, careful with his money. Nothing like my Alan. Must I forever be a beggar? He had a willy like a heat seeking missile. Dreams will not come true. My fate is up to you. Right, that's me. I'm all done. Yeah? Yeah. So that's, um... Uh... Two days at 100 a day. 100? That's what we agreed, right? And the work I did last week and uh, some materials I had to get, you know. Uh, there's some receipts there, look. Well, I don't have the cash on me. Well, a cheque do. Oh, come on, mate. I did the work on trust. Hey, listen, you, you don't pay me, right? I'm going to be seriously out of pocket, yeah? Why don't you come back at the weekend? And when it came to practical side of life, he was as much use as a chocolate teapot in a heat wave. Not this again. No one wants to know you've ain't got a phone. I'm oh, sorry, sweetheart. We can't write now. Not even pounds you go. They're really cheap. Ta-da! Dad, can I have a mobile phone? Yeah, of course you can, darling. Dad says I can. Why don't you go wash your hands? Tea's only ready. Go on. Thanks, Dad. Go on. Why would you say that to her? Because she can have a phone. You keep oh, doing that. What are you talking about? Making her promises and then leaving me to clear up the mess. Oh, come on, Don. I bought you these. We are three months behind with the rent and you're buying me flowers. Yeah, and who said romance was dead, eh? Well, yeah, I might not be dead, but in your case, there's a blatant coma. Mm. Oh, I'm trying to make No, no, tea. come here, come here. Ow. Hmm. And he did make me laugh. A daft bugger. But that was before we won nearly nine million on the lottery. Did I mention that? Well, fast your seat belts, because it was quite a ride. Oh, Number four. Oh, there. Where? There. Hey, number four. Come on. Yes, 25. Here we go. Where's the money for Woodside Drive? Thought you said it'd have it today. No, they were out. All hiding. I knew you should have got a deposit up front. What about the Brentwood job? What's happened to that? Shh. <laughs> You little sheep! I told you about that, <laughs> I told you before, what did I say? Hey? 
I see you've already run up a bit of an overdraft. Really? That should have been authorised in advance. There is no overdraft facility on this account. Oh, maybe if you can just let me have a couple of grand. Do you have any security? Security? House? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Council? Stocks? Shares? No. Nothing of value? See, it's difficult to do anything without security. Yeah, but if I had any of those things, right, I could just sell them and then I wouldn't need a loan, would I? Perhaps when your business is more established, when you have accounts we could look at. Oh, right, I see. So you mean you only lend money to people who don't need it, is that right? A grand would do. All right, 500 quid. What, and that's it? We'd appreciate you bringing your account back into credit. Hi, darling. Hey, Vix. What are you up to? Just home, Mark. Got my phone yet, Dad? I sent you out a weekend, all right? Yes! Why don't you go and finish that in your room, sweetheart? Well? Sorted. How much? The whole five grand? <laughs> Who do I have to sleep with? Just me. <gasps> oh, ow! Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> right, I'm just going to take this lot to the post box. Well, can't I wait till tomorrow? No, I'll sleep a lot easier if these are my mind. All right, I'll tell you what. <laughs> I'll take them down. You stay your happy tea. You sure? Yeah, go on, I'm not a walk. Thanks, Al. Proposition for you. A business proposition. Let's discuss it upstairs. I mean, my skills, you're ready for business. We should go in a partnership together. You know, doing up wine bars and running them. It'd only take a few grand to get us off the ground. Yeah? Yeah. I mean, I'd stump up the money myself, you know, but my things are a bit tight at the moment. Right. Look, I'll tell you what, why don't I finish those washrooms of yours? Eh? I mean, I know I said a grand, right? But, I mean, I can do you a deal, can't I? So you want me to give you my hard-earned cash to bail out your business and spend on your family? That is not what I meant, and you know it. Too late, anyway. I've had someone else do the washrooms. You're joking. Well, you never return my calls. Al! Al, wait. I am thinking to expand. And you know what you said before? It's not a bad idea. If you ever leave that wife of yours, you know where to find me. Listen. 
it's never going to happen again. I'm, I'm sorry, all right? Just give me one more chance. No. I can't do it anymore, Alan. It's over. Just take your stuff. I'm going to go to the bank first thing in the morning, get a joint account for the business. I'll have to get a loan, all my capital's tied up in this place. But you can use my car to get yourself to jobs in the meantime, because I've got my new one on order. Oh, we're going to go to the estate agents as well. We can look at some properties. What, Brentwood, Colchester? Go as far as Suffolk if you like. That's really popular, isn't it, these days? What we need to do, actually, is a bargain conversion, though. Because what I'm thinking... We're supposed to be doing all this. Why well, pay him when I've got you hanging around the place all day? Oh, at last. The building site has approved the loan. You what? Here we go. Company checkbook. Harrison Thwaite. Managers and developers of wine bars across the home counties. Go put an advert in the local paper. And get yourself a van and some tools. We're in business, lover. Still with the Northern Tart? Yeah, of course not. I was only here for a couple of days and I had to have somewhere to stay, didn't I? I tell you what, it's unbelievable the way people gossip around here. Piss off, Al. Which were the ones you were looking at, eh, Don? Hold on a minute. Put them down, you'll get me arrested. Well, which ones? Don't make fun of me, you know I can't afford him. Yeah, but I can. I've got money now. Oh, well, good. Because Vicky needs a new coat. Yeah, all right. Look, I've got, I've got money for all the bills, everything. Alan, this is me you're talking to, remember? I've heard it all before. Donna, Donna, look, I mean it this time. There you go. You know, I didn't want to tell you. Not till I was sure. How much? <laughs> Enough for us not to have to worry about money anymore. Donna, we can try again. This time we ain't got a threat about paying the bills or anything. But how much have you won exactly? Does it matter? Of course it bloody matters. Let's just say, right, enough to pay back everything we owe. We still have a nice big lump in the bank. Prove it. Sure. I'm sorry, Alan. I need to know this isn't just another one of your lies. I need you to prove it. All right. Come on. Where we going? Well, you'll see. Come on. Right, how much do we own? Everything? Yeah, everything. 1,500 to the bailiffs. Yeah. What else? I'd like to know about another 800. All right, 15, 8. I'll tell you what, let's call it three grand, eh? Excuse me. Hello. Can I cash your check here? Hey, Nick. Remember me? Mr. Harris, I'm just making a withdrawal. 
I'll let Shireen look after you, shall I? Yeah. Three thousand pounds. That's just for starters. I still don't understand. I mean, how much have you won exactly? Four, five numbers. Why won't you tell me, Al? Because I need to be sure, don't I? Hey? That if you take me back, it's not just for the money. Who said anything about taking you back? Look, I'll tell you what, why don't we grab a bottle of champagne somewhere, eh? We can talk about it. Aren't you going to answer that? Yeah. You're 20 minutes late. No, I cannot do this by myself. Dealers always try to rip off a woman on her own. Bye. I've got a job over in Colchester. I promised to buy an estimate by lunchtime. If you've won the lottery, why are you so worried about work? I don't want to let him down, do I? Don, I'm trying to turn over a new leaf. Oh, come on, Al. Is this me you're talking to? Look, I'll be around later, OK? Tell Vicky I'm coming. We'll talk about it then. Not sure about this, um, boy. This two-tone material thing. No, it's nice. It's fine. No, I think it's tacky. Is it too late to have it all leather? The car would have to go back to the manufacturers, four weeks minimum, and it'll cost you looking at least 1500 on top of what you've already paid. What do you think? You know, a mate of mine does all that. Car interiors. I mean, I could ask him to do us a favour. Really? Yeah. Hey. If the lady wants leather trim, that is exactly what the lady will have, isn't that right? Why don't I drop you off at home and I can, uh, I can take it straight over to him and see what he says. All right, then. He's spoiled me. He told me to the bank and everything. Just about three grand right there in front of me. Well, you. I still think he's up to something. Yeah, what if he isn't this time? I'd want more proof than three grand in cash. <laughs> Belong to? Yours if you want it done. What? I saw it in the showroom. Straight off I thought of you. But you can't. Well, I can now. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, congratulations are in order. <laughs> I love the colour. I knew you would. Come on. Go on, get in. Go on, it's open done. There's something in the glove compartment for you and all. Hey! Careful! Oh my god. This is really for real. Don't forget, bed by nine, OK? Mum. All right, you can read for half an hour. Dad! <laughs> Hold on tight, hey. <laughs> Hiya. Hiya. You look great. Are you coming back to live with us? Vicky. Right. Where do you you are? Hang on a minute. Look. I've got you this. You can text all your mates. Thanks, Dad. Yeah. It takes photographs and everything, I want. And this. That must have cost a fortune. Yeah, well, it's for her own work. I'll come over and set it up at the weekend if that's all right. I can't just buy your way back in, you know. What, is that what you think I'm doing? I don't know, are you? No. You know, the mistakes I made, they were all because we were skin. And I thought it was my fault. I mean, 
men are meant to provide for their families, aren't they? And I couldn't. But you know, things are going to be different from now on. I want to be with you, Donna. I love you. Talking to anyone, all well, right? Can I just confirm how much it is you've won? No. Well, look, can I ask how you're going to spend the money? Just take your foot out the door. Elbow! Look, I brought some shampoo. I thought we could celebrate. Get a picture out the front of the house. You and Donna. Somebody called Nigel. Well, I don't know anyone called Nigel. Well, he says he went to school with you, so next year religious studies. Come on, he just wants to say well done. Mrs. Harris, yeah. I'm from the local paper. I'm here to take your picture. Congratulations. Thanks. Look, why don't I go and talk to a couple of the neighbours while you two go out and get dressed? I'll oh, kill that bloody Janice. Al, where are you going? Get some painkillers. Cheers. So exactly how much is it you've won? Uh, I don't know yet. You don't know? Well, you see, Al, uh, my husband, he was explaining it to me last night. I mean, I just thought they sent you a cheque. But it's really complicated. We've just got the interest for now, a few grand, and they want the main lot in an offshore account until he works out where it's going. Is that hooked up to the internet? Yeah. Well, then let's find out. I know I'd go from rags to return. You see, love, there were lots of winners out week, so it's not quite as much money as we thought, just a... Uh... Just a few grand, that's all. <laughs> I think you've already spent most of it as well. But we're going to be all right, aren't we? Me and you? It must have been a week last Saturday. The 17th? I go to 17th, love. No, no, back a week. I know what I'm doing, Mum. There! Oh, my God. Must I forever be oh. The day you won. Is it the 17th? Um, no, it was not last Saturday. It was the Saturday before. But, look, I need to talk to you about something. And it was the jackpot, yeah? Well, yeah, but that's what I need to talk to you about. <laughs> Vicky's been on the computer. There was only one winner, Dad. Eight million nine hundred four thousand five hundred and fifty eight. Oh, yes, I'm Harry, so I love you. No wonder you didn't want to tell me how much you'd won. Yes, we're rich. We're rich. We're rich. No, no. Oh, 
on, eh? Congratulations. What are you doing still working at? I thought we agreed just family and friends. Is our all our family and friends? Come on, I've never seen half of them before. Oh, another drink, Auntie Vi. Remember Auntie Vi, Mum's cousin? Some of them are wondering if you're doing checks tonight. Checks? Oh, not me. I'm not bothered, but they didn't like to ask. I'm sorry, I don't, I don't know what you mean. Hello, sis. Hello, thanks Hello. for coming. <laughs> Janice just told me about you offering to pay off our mortgage. Yeah, well, you deserve it. <laughs> thanks, mate. Thank so are they getting checks tonight, or what? Um, what are you doing here? I could ask you the same question. I could also ask you about this. Let's go outside. When were you going to tell me? Come outside and we'll talk about it. Go inside, guys. <laughs> hey, keep the noise down a little bit for me. Yeah. Listen, I just came to see Vicky, you know? I just walked in on all this. But it says in there you've won the lottery. No. What we're celebrating, then? Well, it's Donna, isn't it? She's won. Do you seriously think I'll be going to work if I just won the lottery? No, I suppose not. Well, then. Are you going to go back to her? No. I'm with you now. Do you mean that? I know I do. Look, just give me a couple of weeks and sort this out. Hey, hey you just go for me hey, before you blow it. I'll call you. Needed a bit of peace and quiet, that's all. Does that include me? Of course not. Listen, Don. I've got something to tell you. What? <laughs> it's about the money. I know you're worried how much the party's costing. <laughs> well, yeah, there's that, but... Well, we haven't. I know we haven't actually got the money yet. But I got the boost and the cash and carry. We used Phil's card and me and Janice did all the food. It's OK, really. Harris residence. Oh, that's OK. That's no trouble. It's that... It's that Nick bloke from the bank. This is urgent. He must be their best customer. Hello? Alan, how are you? Good, fine, thanks. Take your seat. Can I get you anything? Coffee, perhaps? Uh, look, I know I've been writing a lot of checks recently, you know. Another problem. Is there? Look, Alan, no point in beating around the bush. We've heard about your win. Every bank in town has heard. And I expect some of them have been onto you by now. Well, I've had uh, a few calls, you know, a few letters. That's why I thought we should talk as soon as possible. You're a valued customer. We'd like to think we can meet all your needs right here. No point in changing a winning team, eh? <laughs> Do you mind me asking when the money will arrive? Oh, well, it's, uh, it's offshore at the moment. You know, all I've got right now is a little bit of interest. That would be the ten grand you paid into your and Donna's account a couple of weeks ago. How long do you think it would be before we could uh, arrange a transfer of the full amount? You know, I think I need to give notice. 30 days? Yeah. Another problem. Look, I've taken the liberty of putting together a package for you. You need new checkbooks, so I've got one each for you and Donna. Credit cards for you both, which double as check guarantee and cash cards. Platinum, of course. I've asked our investment team to come up with some proposals for the bulk of the capital. And, of course, we'll give you an unlimited overdraft till the money's transferred. Unlimited? So, what do you say?
What the hell's going on? What are you doing here? We're supposed to be in business and I hardly ever see you anymore. Oh, come on. <laughs> There's no point in me coming home every night. I'm going to get the house finished quicker if I stay here. You've changed your mind about divorcing her, haven't you? Well, I wouldn't blame you. Why settle for half of nine million when you can share the whole damn lot? Just be honest with me, Alan. That is all I ask. Right. I'll close the bank account. We'll wind up the business. We'll call it a day. No, no, no. Get out of here. I'm not doing that. I've just got to take things slowly with her. Come on. If you want to move now. Come on, you're the one I care about. You know that. Hey. Eh? Yeah? Oh, I'm up at last. You look terrible. You'll be in all morning. And the travel agents are going to bank the tickets over. Orlando? Right. Me and Vicky got a nip into town. No more shopping, Mum, please. There's loads more things we need to get. We've got to get new cosies, something to read. Oh, and well, I've got to buy some Saint Tropez. Can't be seeing the Magic Kingdom without a decent tan. You can do your own breakfast, can't you? Come on. See you later. Emergency. Alan Harris? Yeah? We need to ask you a few questions, sir. I understand the vehicle was supposed to be in a workshop. A uh, friend of yours having some leather seats fitted? Uh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, are you sure it was your car? Well, I know the car I bought. I saw some blonde tart driving it up the high street, bald as bloody brass. If you could just tell us the name of the outfit as we were doing the seats. Name? I'll tell you what, I'll do better than that. Call them right now. See what bloody hell's going on. Yeah. Yeah, Alan Harris. Yeah, I brought in that Persia about ten days ago to have the trim refitted. The convertible. Yeah, my girlfriend's car. Well, how come some woman's been seen driving around in it? Right. Right, and she's blonde, is she? Oh, I see. All right, well, look, I, I'm really sorry to have troubled you. Yeah. Thanks. Well, it does that sometimes. Anyway, apparently, <laughs> it was the woman out of accounts. Car needed a test drive, and none of the mechanics were around. A test drive? Yeah. To test some new seats. That's what they said. So it's not been stolen, then? No. I'm so sorry. Hey, how are you to know, eh? You see some woman driving around. All right, we'll show ourselves out. Look, thanks for coming over. I appreciate you. Oh, I feel such an idiot. Still, at least it means it's ready. What? Well, if they're test driving it, they must have finished the work. You can pick it up first thing. I like my car. Yeah, but I can give you something better. I don't want anything better. You know, I'm sure I read somewhere they were calling that model. Probably not even safe. Oh, well, then give me the number of the garage and I'll ring up and find out myself. No, don't be daft. Well, why not? Oh, for God's sake, Don, I can get you any car you want. Why'd you have to hang on to that heap of junk? Because that was the first thing you bought me of the money. And that's special to me. Even if it isn't special to you. Sorry. You know, once upon a time, you'd be over the moon to get a new car. Any car. And nothing seems to make you happy. What's wrong, Al? Why would anything be wrong? I'm so 
sorry. Sorry. Oh, thanks for waiting with her. I just got caught up in some stupid argument with... Well, anyway, it doesn't matter now. Thanks. Vicky tells me you're off to Florida in the holidays. Yeah, that's right. Oh, don't worry, I haven't forgotten about the school trip, by the way. Just haven't had a chance to talk to my husband about it. It's a bit hard to pin him down these days. And you, how are you enjoying being a lady of leisure? It's OK. Just OK? Well, it's Al, my husband. I mean, I thought he'd be over the moon about it. And sometimes he is, and then other times he's just so unhappy and stressed. And he's hardly bought a thing for himself. Well, maybe you should get him something. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea. Cheer him up. You're a man. Yes. I'm oh, sure. Sorry. I mean, if you won nine million quid, what's the first thing you'd buy? Hmm. New XK. Four litres, 400 BHP. It's beautiful. Leather interior, choice of eight different shades, cruise control, climate control, rear parking assist, very handy if you're letting the wife drive it. Oi. <laughs> and it's got your GPS, of course. Satellite navigation system, that's standard with all our models. Tempted? Very. It's just one problem. Uh, the money hasn't come through yet. Not a problem at all, sir. Take it. Drive it for a while. What, a test drive? Long as you like. Love is a whole little bit. Feeling better? Much better. Come on now. This is the master bedroom. Oh, it's lovely. All sweets through here. Oh, Al. Look at that view. I wanted to dig all this up and put a swimming pool here, but he wouldn't hear of it. These are his hobby. Well, we're far too old for a swimming pool. Couldn't afford to eat it. Ah, get much more satisfaction from tending my roses. You might. I don't. A swimming pool? What a brilliant idea. It's them, the lottery winners. Who? The lottery winners. It's them. Well, let me handle this, OK? Don't you go opening that mouth of yours. Tea. Mmm, please. Sugar. Uh, two for our, one for me. So, Mr. Harris, uh, you like the house? We well. love it. Yeah, it's very nice. We've been very happy here. Well, there's been a lot of interest at one offer in. Um, not quite the asking price, but they're cash buyers. Oh, well, so are we. Well, we don't even know how much it is yet. It's five... Ninety-five. Uh, five hundred and ninety-five thousand. Right. Well, that's not unreasonable. Not a place like this. Perhaps we should give them a minute. Oh, wow. Sort the gadgets and the oddities and the clothes. This is what we need. Somewhere like this, we can get a bit of peace. Be a family again. Just you and Pete and Vicky. Swimming, riding. We could get her a pony. I know we could be happy here. Please. I promise I won't ask for anything else. A house? In Woodley. <laughs> and they're in a bit of a hurry, so I need to make a payment pretty soon. How much? <sighs> 595,000. To be honest, Alan, for that amount, we'd need to wait until the money came through. I could always ask one of the other banks. Alan, this is serious. I've had head office calling me on a daily basis. To say they're not happy would be putting it very mildly. They're talking about stopping any more checks being drawn on the account, unless funds are deposited, or at the very least we see some confirmation that nine million's on its way. Oh yeah. 
I spoke to Victor and Yvonne today. They said they're willing to move into their caravan so we can get the building works done right away. Oh, Rod reckons we can fit a hot tub in here where the pool's going. Who's Rod? The architect. He's got all kinds of plans for the house as well. You know, this is really mad, but I was adding up the list today. You know, everything we've agreed to give everyone. We haven't got enough. Enough what? Money. I mean, by the time we paid off everyone's mortgage, bought the house, built the swimming pool and everything, half a million each for our mums and dads, plus a million for Vicky's trust fund, and all the charities we said we'd give to, that makes 11,400,000. Where are you going? For a drink. What's it, Dee? Oh, I'll have it like that. Uncle Neville's here. Didn't you hear the door? Hello, stranger. Rebel and Indian. Do you want some? Uh, actually, Don, it's Salad I've come to see. Um, if you're going out, mate, I'll come for a walk with you. Yeah. Well, I'll see you later. OK. Liz didn't want me to say nothing, but with the kids' school fees due, I've got no choice. The check Donna gave us. Donna gave you a check? A couple of days ago, you know, to pay off the mortgage. Really, really kind of you both. Yeah, can't tell you how much we appreciate it, but the thing is, mate, it's just bounced. Wait, wait a minute, she shouldn't have done that. See, look, the money hasn't been transferred into our account yet. Well, it showed up as a credit. It showed up as a credit? Yeah. What are you talking about? Well, I was getting cash out the ATM. And you know it asks if you want to check your balance. So I did. And suddenly, it's plus 153 grand. <laughs> now, it's not every day. Your current account's 153 grand in credit. So anyway, Liz went a bit mad. You know what she's like? Splurging up and down the high street. And now we're thousands of pounds in the red. Hang on a minute. Let me, let me get this straight, right? They credited your account with the money, even though the check Donna gave you hadn't cleared. Yeah, but now they're taking it back again. So you see, mate, we really need your help. If you could just see your way, you're right out of the chair. Now, go straight down. Pop it. I want to pay this into my business account, please. Harrison Thwaite. Paid it into the wrong account. You know, my building society account. So it's here now? Yeah. Yeah, it's just around the corner. Only I can't get at it. What? Well, I need to give them notice. Alan, we, we can't do this. All the advances we made were on the understanding that the money would be here by now. And the head office are going spare. I mean, it's my head on the block here. Let's help. I popped in on the way over here, you know, just to make sure the money had arrived safely. 8.9 million. Sounds good, doesn't it? So we're all right again then? Absolutely. And Donna can have her house? In light of this, I doubt there'll be a problem. Terrific. Strictly speaking, we should have exchanged contracts first. I trust you. Thank you. Cheers, then. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> I was just taking money out the joint account. Wasn't even going to check the balance. And I thought, why not? It was you that won all the money. When were you going to tell me? Just calm down. I mean, eh? thank God you did. Because our account is 50 bloody grand overdrawn. What the hell have you been doing? Yeah, but just don't go mad, will you? Don't go mad? Alan, it's drinks on the house tonight and tomorrow. I am straight off to party next. Oh, um, now I'm perfectly happy to be fair to your wife and Kitty, but no way they're getting half. I've got plans that are going to double this little lot in five years. Cheers, darling. Cheers.
okay? There's more inside. It's all free. Oh, no. you don't realise what you got until it's not there anymore. I mean, money didn't give a sister there. What do you mean? Sitting on the floor with a bottle of plonk. We could have done this any time, couldn't we? But you don't do you, you know, you come home from work, you sit in front of the telly, and your life just drifts away without you even realising. I suppose. If I lost you, Don. You're not going to lose me. What if I did something bad? How bad? The worst. Are you trying to tell me something you have an affair? No. What then? Just being hypothetical, aren't I? Oh. Hypothetical. <laughs> I mean, I love you more than anything else in the world, you know that. If I think about the future, you know, it just doesn't work unless you're in it. Nothing I could do that would stop you loving me. Dirty fingernails. I'm being serious. <laughs> I couldn't love a bloke who had dirty fingernails. I'm being serious. <sighs> well, I don't know. I can't think of anything. It'll always be Alan Harris. And I love Alan Harris. I suppose if you change your name or turned into one of them pod people or something, then I might stop loving you. <laughs> That's fair enough, I suppose. <laughs> Unless. You turned into George Clooney. George Clooney? Right. George Clooney. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Carol! Oh, no. No. no! Not there! No! no.
certainly going to answer that. Just give it a couple of minutes, hey? Right. This is Harris. I'm Detective Sergeant Colin Briggs from Mill Lane Police Station. This is Detective Constable Wicks. Husband home. Alan? Present at the interview are Alan Harris, Detective Sergeant Briggs, and Detective Constable Wicks. Uh, for the record, Mr. Harris has been offered and has declined a solicitor. Is that correct? Yeah, I ain't done nothing wrong. Just answer the question yes or no. No, I don't need a solicitor. <sighs> you haven't won the lottery, have you, Alan? Yes. Then where's the money? Yeah, offshore. OK, well, give us the name of the bank and the account number and we'll check it out. Look, where's my wife? She's being interviewed. Of course, she hasn't done anything. You're the one keeping her here. Oh. Until we know the truth, we have to keep asking these questions. And if you won't answer them, maybe Donna will. I am answering. Well, then maybe you can try to explain to us why you wrote yourself a cheque for £8.9 million. Pounds. Oh, what was it, Alan? Were people losing patience waiting for money that didn't exist? Were the banks leaning on you? Oh, I've got to go. I'm moving house today. <laughs> You're not going anywhere till you've told us the truth. And did you win the lottery? Yes. Then where's the money? You're already in trouble for falsifying accounts to obtain money by deception. Fraud. And that was a joint account. So if you don't tell us the truth, we'll have to charge Donna too. Look, I told you, she hasn't done anything. Did you win the lottery? Yes. Then where's the money? Alan, think about it. It's over now. Don't have to lie anymore. Did you win the lottery? <sighs> wasn't for me. Did you win the lottery? She was leaving me, you know. There was bills to pay. Couldn't cope. So you lied? She doesn't know any of this. Donna was threatening to leave you, so you lied to her and told her you won the lottery. And you didn't win the lottery, did you, Alan? <sighs> For the record, Mr. Harris is shaking his head. Alan. Alan. You didn't win the lottery, did you? You must have known she'd find out when the money never arrived. Just wanted one more day with her. Donna, uh, why is this happening? Can you take it somewhere else, please? No, you were still seeing her. No, come on, let's go. Dude, give me a minute, please. Stop lying. You never won, did you? Why did you do it, Alan? Why? You sick bastard, you sick, sick bastard! Oh, oh. Sick oh. bastard! Oh. Why did you do it?
Alan David Winslow Harris, you are charged with 13 counts of obtaining goods or money by deception. On the count of obtaining and attempting to obtain by deception the sum of £635,030 from the Royal Essex Bank, how do you plead? Guilty. On the charge of obtaining by deception £68,733 from Gillian Ann Thwaite, how do you plead? Guilty. And on the charge of criminal damage to the Old Farm House, Lower Woodley, Essex, how do you plead? Guilty. People's lives have been ruined by your selfish and dishonest behaviour. You have spread a blight through your community. Your crimes must therefore be punished as severely as the law allows. You will go to prison for five years. Things got back to normal, slowly. If nothing else, I found out who my real friends were. Bring it all in, ladies. It was Vicky I felt sorry as for. It broke my heart to see her hurting. And nothing I could do could make it better. I hated Alan for that. Really hated him. Donna! Sorry, love. You know what you should do? No. Nope. I'm sure you're going to tell me. File for divorce. Get that bastard out of your life. <sighs> then put yourself out there again. You can't let Alan wreck the rest of your life. Oh, slumming it again, Headmaster. That's the fourth school dinner in a row. Well, the LEA told me it's supposed to be the perfect balanced diet. Easy on the greens. Actually, um, it was you I wanted to speak to. Oh, now there's a surprise. About Vicky. Hmm. She didn't give you a report. We sent them home three weeks ago. This is one of her essays. You gave her this as an essay topic. I know, I'm sorry. It does seem a bit insensitive. <sighs> Poor little thing. We didn't want to worry you, what with everything else you had on your plate at the time. Thought things would just improve of their own accord. Can I ask you something? Does she see her father? She's been to see him a few times. Well, that could be what's unsettling her. Not knowing what she feels about him. It's a big emotional tug of war for any little girl to handle. I'm sorry. It's none of my business to tell you how to run your family. <laughs> well, I'm obviously not very good at it, am I? And what about you? Is anybody taking care of you, Donna? She won't be coming again. You poisoned them against me, have you? I didn't have to do a thing, Alan Harris. You caused this all by yourself. I just came to give you this. From Donna. From Donna? Hopefully telling you she's filing for divorce. There's someone interested in her. Someone good and decent with a proper job. Who can look after her and Vicky like you never did. <laughs> Look, I know she's upset with me right now, OK? Upset? Yeah, but I love her. And she knows that. You know what, Al? If you really love that woman, you'd be thanking God she's met someone. That she finally has a chance for happiness. You'd let her go.
Mum? Yeah. Is Mr. Burgess your boyfriend? No, he's just a friend. Well, how comes I saw you kissing him in the car then? Do you mind? He's nice. It's just a bit embarrassing. That's all. Mum? Yeah. He looked nice. Dear Alan, I've started a million letters, I've screwed them all up, can't ever seem to find the right words, so I'll just send you this. What I would do if I had a million pound? First I would go and buy a plane ticket for me and my mum, so we could go as far from here as possible. Somewhere where nobody knows me, or what my father did. Nobody will laugh at me. I would not buy things with it, because you never know if people really like you or just like you for the things. And anyway, someone would just come take it all away and you'll be poor again with everybody looking at you and feeling sorry for you. What I really want is not to be me, but a popular girl with normal parents. But you can't buy that. Not even with a million pound. So here we are, back where we started. Me and my Jimmy Choose. If you would only say you care. I'll get these. Usual girls? Oh, oh yeah, right. thanks. You're right. Yeah. Be empty. <laughs> I'd be a millionaire. Two years, six months and 23 days. And tomorrow he'd be free. And I still didn't know what I thought I felt about him. But in my heart I'd be a king. Love is all that ever mattered. It's everything. Donna, you okay? Oh, yeah, sorry, I just come over a bit faint, that's all. Come on, let's go out and get some air, eh? Yeah. Thanks. You okay now? Yeah. I think I just forgot to eat at lunchtime. It's okay. Look, I know what all this is about. Look, Donna, what would things about to change tomorrow? Look, look, I wouldn't push this, but I just need to know where we stand. When I lost Susan, I never thought I'd ever find anyone again. But you've given me happiness and hope and a family. And I want to give you something. Proper future for you and Vicky. What do you say? What did I want? I didn't hate her anymore. I knew that for sure. And I had to admit, while it lasted, it had been bloody brilliant. At least I'd seen it all. Done it all. came down to a choice. Normality, security, honesty. All the things I've never had. Versus what? Versus love, I guess. But if you really love someone, 
There isn't a thing that can change that. I didn't think you were coming. I wasn't. I left Charlie down on one knee. Who's Charlie? I'll tell you later. So why did you? Probably because I need my head testing. One condition. No more lies. No more lies. I promise. Yes. Lying bastard. We're all going to the same place sooner or later. It's a question of how you get there. Slow boat or roller coaster. I guess I was a roller coaster kind of girl. <laughs>